All right, Tiger King, get out of the way. One South Florida Zoo carries more than 40 exotic species and allows guests to experience some of those animals up close and personal. Zoological Wildlife Foundation sits on five acres out in Miami, and the zoo offers daily wildlife tours with the goal to educate the public on the dangers these animals face. And now their co-president is changing the title King of the Jungle. Well, of course, we love to celebrate women here on the Midday Jolt. Today, we have a very special guest, Maria Tabrui, known as the Queen of the Jungle. Buenas tardes and welcome, Maria, to the Midday Jolt. Hi, how are you? <laughs> We're doing great, Maria. This platform, incredible to educate the public on rare and endangered animals. Such a unique and big responsibility for you. Now, how did you find yourself in this position? Well, um, I mean, I love exotic wildlife and I love what I do in my career. It got me here because um, it, I was in a um, point in my life when I wanted to have my own business, my own career, a new path in life. And I met my business partner. We decided we want to move forward into what we have today, Zoological Wildlife Foundation and Wildlife Gardens. Absolutely amazing. Now, you also have your very own podcast out called It's a Jungle Out There. Uh, you just recently spoke Correct. with... Elizabeth Sutton, and it seems that you're giving another platform to women navigating tough industries out in cities like New York and Miami. How has the response been? Well, the response has been great. Everybody's looking forward for our next season and our, our shows at 9 and 10, and they love it. The interaction that we have with our guests basically is a little bit about knowing them, uh, them telling their stories, their deepest secret, um, and sharing that with the world. You know, because everybody has a story and everybody has um, a path, uh, a secret that they want to share. And, and that and, and those secrets that we tell to each other is knowledgeable for, for people that are actually seen. And it could be a lesson for them as well. Most definitely. I mean, we need all the help that we can get. Now, let's go back to wildlife. Right. Why is this education so important? What do people are usually like shock, shocked about when they come to you and hear about your animals? Correct. I live in a zoo. It's five acres here in the rules of Miami. And basically we, it, it's like an, it's like an oasis in South Florida. So if you cannot go to the Amazon or Africa, we have it right here in South Florida. It's a staple in Miami. So basically when people come over here, they try to disconnect from the daily life that they have issues that they have. And, and when they come here, it's like therapeutic for them. And just to see the experience of the animals up close and personal and the educational side of it, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And they can take that knowledge, share it with a friend. And that's how people come here. That's how we started our business. Yeah, a very neat and unique experience. So what vulnerable species do you think need more attention to right now that people are unaware of? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, what uh, species right now need more attention to right now that a lot of people don't really know about right now? Well, I mean, to me it's all of them, but actually the white-handed gibbon, it's very important important because it's an endangered species and we have them here and we have reproduced them in the past. Mm, okay, that's good to know. Well, let's talk about your personal journey. You're a Latina in a very male dominated industry. Break this down for us. It's not very easy. Would you share how you were able to fight off some tough moments and how you would encourage other black and brown women to do so when men kind of, you know, target them in a way? Well, I consider myself a very, uh, I have leadership skills. I consider myself a strong woman, a woman that's dedicated, uh, a warrior, uh, a, a woman that that's strong, a woman that's not afraid to to be in any in any in any career path that I have been. And being strong and being determined, you can make anything possible. And I give and I give those examples to women out there. You know, if you if you have a dream and you're strong and you're career oriented, go for it. Yeah. Have you personally had any women like reach out to you for advice? What do they come to you for? Well, usually are, are the women that come to me are they're young. They they come here as a volunteer because they have a, a dream that they want to fulfill in the animal industry. It's either becoming a vet. It's either becoming um, just assisting with animals, working at a regular park or zoo. So having that experience at a very young age and learning and then taking that with them uh, as they move forward in their career and their studies and then eventually moving forward to some of them will stay here, some of them will move somewhere uh, to continue their, their career. The knowledge that they have here, they will take from them. It doesn't matter if you study, but if you don't have that knowledge, on-hand experience, that's what counts. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's talk about your bond with these animals. Now, you know, animals I like to think are God's creatures. Tell us about the love you have for them and have built with them. I know you kind of prefaced some on your Instagram, but does one come to mind when it comes to a special bond? Limbani. <laughs> Limbani is my baby. Limbani, actually, his Limbani's birthday is my birthday, August 24th. So we turn, you know, every year we turn age together. Limbani is five right now. So I picked Limbani up when he was like a week old, four days old. Aww. And he sees me as a surrogate mom. And it doesn't matter if I can see him two or three days because I'm busy working on the backside of the operations of the business. When I see him, I see the hugs and the kisses and I could see his eyes the love he has for me and vice versa. So that's very rewarding for me, you know. Yeah, no, it's very that gentle. me up every day to come to work to do my job. <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. I love seeing the pics of you too. Well, Maria, it was such a pleasure to hear about you and talk to you more here on the Midday Joel. We appreciate it. Thank you. And you're welcome to come anytime to visit. All right. I will. I will. I'll take you up on it. Okay. <laughs>